Hey everybody, how you doing? My name is Happy and in this one I'm going to be showing you how I create my YouTube videos and live streams. So sit back, enjoy and let's go. Now when it comes to YouTube, this is what I see. This is OBS, Open Broadcaster Software, and it's actually quite an easy piece of software to use. So let's start with YouTube videos and then we'll get onto streaming. So pretty much YouTube videos, it's really rather simple. As you can see, we've got the Minecraft screen, this is what you see, and then if we switch over to this, we've got the actual OBS screen. This is what I see when recording all of the videos. So let's go over how I record my videos. Video recording on OBS is rather simple. All you need to do is you have these things over over here these are called scenes these are called sources think of scenes like different folders that have different files inside of them so for example we have my minecraft game if i was to load up among us obs would detect that and show you among us instead of minecraft you can put anything you like in here i've just got these set up these are game captures and window captures so let's say we wanted to add minecraft let's say we're starting fresh and we have absolutely nothing we would create a scene it would be called scene one so we would have this and we can rename that seam by either creating a new one or right click and rename just like this. And we're going to call it Minecraft. I might have to call it Minecraft game. No, Minecraft. Okay. And then you go to your sources and you press add. And then you can either choose window capture down here or game capture up here. I choose window capture because it seems to work better for me. Then you can give it a name. So I'm just going to call it MC because I already have one called Minecraft. You probably won't have one called Minecraft already if this is your first time setting things up. But then you're going to press OK and you can see Minecraft has been selected straight away. So what I'm going to do is press OK. I don't need to worry about any of the other settings. And if you want to get those settings back, just right click and press properties. And here are those settings once more. Now I need to make mine bigger so you can do that by dragging. It should snap into place. If not, right click, transform, fit to screen like that. Then you can lock it. That way you can't accidentally drag it around like this. Let's say you're trying to move something else and you suddenly go, whoops. And there's no control Z, control Z, there's no undo. So you've got to right click, transform, fit to screen down here and lock it. And then you're basically done. Now, there is a possible chance your microphone won't be here when you install OBS for the first time. If not, go into the OBS settings like so. Go to audio and set your mic auxiliary audio to your microphone. For my example here, this is the Blue Yeti X. And there's that. If you want your desktop audio as well, set that to your speakers or headphones, depending on which one you want to capture audio from. I use my speakers for desktop audio and I use my headphones for Discord audio. So for Discord audio, if we switch back over to the recording one, which is also used for my stream, we'll get onto that later. I have this audio output capture called Discord audio. You can also see it down here. Now, if I was to enable this, which it is always enabled, it's just muted at the moment. If I was to have audio coming through my headphones, then that's where this would come from. So if I go to properties, you can see at the moment it's just set to default because the headphones are turned off. But if I was to turn on the headphones, my headphones would be listed here and this is where the Discord audio would come through. So in terms of recording videos, it's actually rather easy. You just sort of hit record and you go, unless you want to change a few more settings. And those settings would be the following. So you'd probably want to go into your settings, want to go to output, and you would want to go to recording. From here, we can choose where we want our recordings to be saved, which audio tracks we want to save to. So in OBS, you can split between different audio tracks. Say if you want this one to be your voice, if you want this one to be your game audio. I tend to have all of them checked because I stream and record on the same OBS profile. But if you want to get more into detail on OBS profiles, then I'll leave a link to a video in the description. So what we've got down here, we've got rate control. This is CBI. You've got controlled bit rate. You've got variable bit rate. You've got that one and you've got lossless. So this is going to be your video file quality. I set mine to 10,000 kilobits per second. That seems to be all right. And we've got keyframe interval, preset, profile, look ahead. These are to do with your graphics card. Same with these and same with these. Look at the video I've left in the description below. That should give you all the help you need. Also, make sure you're saving your video files to a place that you know where they're going. Again, audio. This is if you want to have your different audio settings. My bitrate for track one is 320 the rest are 160 so that's pretty much it for recording videos as i say it's really rather easy to record videos in obs especially you know you're just adding your scene making sure you've got your microphone set up making sure you've got any other audio set up it's really rather easy where things start to get a little bit more complicated is when you want to introduce live streaming so I've just clicked on recording plus stream because I mentioned earlier that I use the same recording profile as I do for live streaming. Now this can be both useful and it can be both uh, annoying. 
like like really really annoying but beneficial because if i want to switch from live stream to video all i have to do is turn on webcam hello then all i have to do is turn on stream uh, sub count behind that gives us this thing down here and then have to turn on sub count which gives the sub count number and then youtube and then the stream alerts and then there we go that's basically it and you can see i've got this file here called tree laps now what that is if i was to do a live stream and i wanted pre-recorded content in there like a time lapse i can add a video file to obs so i can pre-record content and add it to obs so tree lapse.mp4 is a video file on my computer that i have added to obs and you can see it's got a restart button a pause button a play button so all i have to do if i want that file to play on my stream is come into obs and press this button right here and it will do this So there we go it's as simple as that you can play pause stop rewind and people will probably think how has he done that or or how have they done that on the live stream you know if, if this is live how can you get a time lapse pre-recorded content on obs that's how you do it the same thing goes for my outro and my intro if i click this file here you can see my intro is about to start i'm going to do something whilst it's playing keep watching I didn't have it selected. So yeah, that's one thing. You can have the same video file, so I can right click on this, I can copy it, and I can paste it into here. So if I was to have this one selected, and here, now what should happen, we're on a blank screen, the intro is about to play, and I'm going to switch scenes. And now you can see me. It's as simple as that. It's how you can do things in OBS. Now when it comes to other things in OBS, like new stream outro transition end, that is a video file that has a few filters. We're going to click on this one, we're going to go to filters, I've got a chroma key filter. Now if I was to disable that filter and then press uh, play, uh, we, we have a bit of a problem. The screen is very green. So how do we fix that? Filters, chroma key, set it to green and enable it. But now you can see me, but hang on, that's, how is that there? That, what? I mean, that's pretty cool, right? You can do chroma key in OBS and make things that are not transparent, transparent. So that, that's how I do my videos and that's how I do my streams. If I want to stream, by the way, I go to settings and I go to output. Uh, no, I don't, I go to stream choose where i want to stream you can do it to a, a youtube you can do it to twitch custom if you want so if you have your own streaming server you can do it to there and then you just get your stream key from youtube i'm not gonna show mine obviously because i don't want you guys streaming on my channel randomly that's not what we do around here and then yeah you can choose the primary server or the backup server depending on which one you use if you use twitch you can link your account directly to obs which is really useful you won't need to do anything with stream keys so that makes that easier if you stream to twitch Again, output, if we go to streaming, I have different settings for recording because you want to sort of make sure that you can have, you know, a decent quality stream, but one that works with your internet connection. So again, I'll leave a link to that video in the description below from another YouTuber that will explain everything you need to know about OBS setup. I'm, I'm dying in Minecraft right now. There's nothing I can do about this. We're just going to have to accept. Yeah, mm, okay, we're going to have to accept it. Anyway, that's it for the main bulk of recording and streaming. Now, when it comes to things like the quiz live, you, you got to love the quiz live, right? Now, when it comes to the quiz live, we have a couple of things. We have the intro clip on one. We have the Minecraft game on here, which has all of these. All of these are intro clips. If I was to play this one for showdown. These are exactly the same as what we've seen beforehand. These are just video files with chroma key on them, and that's what they are. Now, some of them have blue screens, some of them have green screens. It's just dependent on what we do. And then we have a bunch of music files, so I can do this one, which starts out really quiet, so we'll choose this one instead. There we go. We now have background music, and that sounds like this. And then we have this question open. Again, this is just a video file with a green screen, and then we have the question closed, which is a video file with a red screen because we have different things going on and actually, you know, closed has the green screen, uh, open has the red screen. So chroma keying is just a case of whichever color your background is, make sure that's not on anything that you want to show. And then we have the Minecraft window, honestly, and then we have intermission screen, which is just 
a bunch of bunch of files. Bunch of files. And honestly, I think that's it. So there we go. That's how I make my videos and live streams. Hope you enjoyed. Hope you learned something. Other than that, my name's been Happy and I'll see you next time. Bye bye.